I want to talk about Jarrett Patterson, Ryan, because I think Jarrett Patterson would have had would have had a chance next year to be a first round draft pick. Definitely a day two guy if nothing changed at Notre Dame. The fact that he's now going to get coached by Harry Heastan and, and, and Chris Watt, but mainly Harry Heastan this next year, to me, as long as he's healthy, yep, I could definitely see Jarrett Patterson being the, the number one center in the draft next year. And number one centers, more often than not, do get picked in the first round. Yeah. Right. Would you say that's fair? So, I mean, I mean we, we, saw, we saw this past draft. Obviously, Linderbaum went in the first round. The Cole Strange kid from Chattanooga was the 29th pick mm-hmm. by the New England Patriots, although he played guard mostly at Chattanooga. He also mm-hmm. played center down in Mobile. So, yeah, yeah, it's pretty – I mean, usually you see at least one center taken in the first round. If not, it's a very second round type of pick. Because if you go back to 2013 – let's go actually go back to 2010. Pouncey went in the first round. The next year, there was no first – there was nobody taken, but the centers were like Stefan Wisniewski, Rodney Hudson, right? Jason Kelsey, Kelsey went in the sixth round, right? So next year, nobody in the first round, but again, no names you would recognize. Travis, Travis Frederick went in the first round the next year. Weston Richmond was the highest guy picked at 43 the next year, just out of the first round. Cameron Irving goes 19 that next year. Ryan Kelly goes 16th the next, 18th the next year. Ethan Posick is the number one center pick the next year at 58. Again, not a great center class. The following season, there's two centers taken, and they went back-to-back. Frank Ragnow from Arkansas and Billy Price from Ohio State. The next year, Garrett Bradbury goes in the first round, and Eric McCoy from AM goes 48th. Cesar Ruiz goes round one the next year. Last year, Landon Dickerson went 37th, just outside the first round. If it's not for him completely destroying his knee in the SEC title game, he's a first-round pick. Would you agree yeah. with that? He, the yeah. only reason he fell to 37 was because of the knee injury. And then, of course, this year, Tyler Linderbaum, who I think f- compares favorably to Jarrett Patterson from a style of play standpoint. Ath- more athletic than a mover, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. kind of guy. Uh, I think there's a lot of similarities there. I could I could certainly, and again, Cesar Ruiz was the 24th overall pick, 18th Badbury, you know. So, I mean, they're, they're, they're going from like 15 to, to 31 is kind of that range. I don't see him jumping into the top 20. But I could definitely see him being late twenties into the 31, 32 range if he's able to be healthy. Cause he's been a good player for a long time. I think yeah. having Harry Heastand gives him an opportunity to be the best version of himself, which let's be honest, that's the only reason he came back this year. Cause Jared Patterson this year would have been a day two pick. Now his injury happened after he declared to come back. So it's not like he came back because of an injury. The injury happened later. Right. To me, there's no doubt, in my opinion, I could be completely wrong on this, that he's a day two pick if he comes out this year. Uh, I, I would even take it one better. I mean, obviously, day two, we're talking about second and third round. I, I would find it hard to believe that he would fall out of the second round because there just was not a center after Linderbaum this year where you were like, yep, that's a dude because Patterson went back to school. I, I did and- like the kid from Nebraska, though. But Jurgens, he only played. I don't. But I don't like him. Potential yeah. wise, potential sure, wise. But here's the thing, sure. right? He's been playing offensive line for two years. Sure. That's sure. it. You I you know. drafted him off potential. Why did? But here's my point. I'm trying to mm-hmm. back up your point. Yeah. I liked Jurgens' potential, but here's why Jurgens went that high because there was nobody else. That you, you so you took a flyer on a kid with upside because mm-hmm. there was nobody else like Jarrett Patterson. And then Luke Fortner's a nice player. I actually like Zach Tom, but again, he was drafted where he should have been drafted, fourth round. Yeah. Right, there was nobody with Jared Patterson's experience plus talent that you take in the second round, which is why the Eagles were in a situation where they had to take a, a, a flyer on a kid that, that's got a lot to prove but has a lot of talent. Sure. That was my so my point was to back up what you're saying is that's why he's the second center off the board because it was not a great center class, and so I do think Jarrett would have been. I'm just trying to be realistic you know day two but yeah now with a year under, with harry under his belt as long as as long as the injury heals up he's gonna have a chance to be a very high pick so now we